Scorpio, 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 I said I wind it up, I wind, okay, let me stop, what's up y'all, it is me, it is she, it is Vibra, it is Scorpion, Red, Tarot, I am back at it again, one time for the one time, I'm popping in the dough. Okay, because I want to find out what's some general energy. We're going to do some quick reads real quick for each and every sign. We're going to be so sublime and on time. Hello, how you doing? All right, we are reloaded. Okay, so I want to shout out all my OGs, my newbies, every last one of my babies for like, sharing, and subscribing and clicking this video. The best way to give love and show support, free love, is just by hitting that like button. So if I'm giving you guidance and if you're just having a good time, just watching and enjoying and being all up and up, people. Been oh, uh, hit that like button, you know what I'm saying? Show a girl some love because I missed you. All right, so before we get into the general energy for September for my signs of Scorpios, we're gonna give God thanks and prayer. So, Father God, thank you so much for just waking us up. Father God, thank you for sparing us and delivering us from evil. Okay, Father God, because it be evil out here. Father God, listen, why people be trying to get us, God? Oh, people be trying to pull us back into the matrix. But Father God, we are steadfast and ready to move forward because it's nothing, 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 nobody, no place, no situation, no facade that can take us off our path, Father God. <clears throat> we have evaluated ourselves a few times and we've made a lot of changes and by your help, helping nurturing hand father god we are very proud of where we standing right now and we will not be disturbed and be led astray off of our path so father god we just want to thank you for all of the growth that we're seeing today because scorpio has come a long way and um our discernment is power like our discernment is power and father god we thank you for that um we thank you for that strong sense of discernment and self-love that has just been governing our life right now. So, Father God, thank you. Um, thank you and thank you. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive for the sign of Scorpio. And in Jesus' name, amen. Hello. All right. We are reloaded. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's get into it. What we got going on for our Scorpio? Father God, let us know what's coming up for the sign of Scorpio for September. Yes, Sersky. Okay, let's pop it off like that. Twist and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out of the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure to get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval. What the fuck? What? 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 God, why are you doing this to us? Why? 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 Please explain this. Please explain this to me, Father God, because I don't have nothing going on right now. Okay? We are reloaded, Father God. We don't got nothing going on. Okay? That is going to take us off of our avenue. There will be no twisting turns. Okay? There will be no redirection. What is going on? I just heard someone... Like, someone's going to get lost. Okay, so I'm picturing... <clears throat> Someone's driving in a neck of the woods that they're not familiar with and they're going to get lost. And for some, somehow, it's like your GPS system is going to go out. It's just going to keep trying to see like it's redirecting, but it's not picking up. And it's like you just driving and you don't even know where you're going. And it's going to like throw you off or something like that. Because it's like you're depending on something else instead of your self-navigation system. What is this? Challenges? What the what the fuck? Yo, seriously? Seriously. God, can can we have a break? Seriously. Seriously. Oh. 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 Y'all, just, just know I am just as baffled and bewildered because I am a Scorpio. And, oh my God, I am not resonating because I do not want no twisted turns or challenges in no way, shape, or form. Like, I am at peace. <laughs> what is going on? 
Come on, we gonna protect each other, Scorpio. Hold on, we gonna stand together like you died a fart. Come on, come on, come on, everybody. Lock arms, lock arms. Come on, come on. We gonna face this together. What the fuck are they talking about? What the fuck are they talking about? Okay, you ready? What's going on? What's coming on in September? What's coming up in September? Now, we ain't even really trying. I ain't trying to read all them cards. Shit. This supposed to be one card, but I guess we need to listen. I just heard you, it's, it's some lack of enthusiasm. Like, you're, you're less enthused about something or somebody. It's like, I'm not enthused. I'm not. I'm not. That's all I'm hearing. It's like, I'm not. The wanderer. Traveling, adventure, movement, coping with unfamiliarity, pilgrim, aloneness, boredom. Or broaden your horizons. Hmm. I just heard the garden of the gate energy. Okay, so in my other deck, the garden of the gate is like, you're at the entryway of your destiny. And at that gate, it's all these lush flowers, it's all these concession stands, it's all of these people. It looks like you're in a city. It's all this hustle and bustle and it's like all of this bright lights and, and glitz and glamour and everything that make you think like, shit, I'm good right here. Like, only thing I can see on the other side of this gate is vast lands. I don't, I don't see no entertainment, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it tries to trick you to make you think that instead of proceeding to your destination, which is the vast lands, you get confused and lost and sucked into the false sense of abundance that's at the garden of the gate and it's like you're standing there and you're wondering should I just accept this in this confined space or should I go over to the vast land which was promised to me where I could build what I want I don't know what the hell that has to do with anything but I felt like I had to explain that because visually I'm seeing it And, I, and I'm seeing this girl looking at these flowers and stuff. And she's saying, like, that's nice, but I want what's inside. It's like she knows better. Like, she's been tricked before. She was supposed to go past that gate, you know? And somehow it's like she got lost in the matrix, looking at all of this other fabulous shit that's all that. No. Go to your destination and don't stop. What does it say? Gathering together, massing, converting, unifying, assembling, combining forces. The sum is greater than the parts. I don't see that. I don't see that. You're less enthusiastic because these came out in the reverse. You're less enthusiastic about the coming together. I don't need... Unless it's my other Scorpios, like I said, we combine them forces to face whatever this message is. That's You know what I'm saying? Whatever this challenge is. We don't need that. I don't need several different parts and entities to be put together just to make me feel like, bitch, I'm something right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need all of that shit that's on the outside of that gate. It looks. It's going to be less entertaining in a week or so. Do you understand what I'm saying? It looks nice now. It looks like it looks nice now because they want you to stop right here instead of going to where you do. You know what I'm saying? They know you're not familiar. That's just like, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting scammers, y'all. Why am I getting scammers? Like when you are a tourist, you're in a touristy destination. And just by the look of you, just by the smell of you, just by the car you drive, just by the way you dress, they can tell that you're not from here. And it's like, oh, hey, look at this. I want to show you this. And this is that. And they try to tell you about like how wonderful and how good their city is and the people and all of the motherfuckers are scammers it's like they just trying to trick you to come here to sit to spend your city money because you look like you got money and everything and it's like by the time you purchase all of these little 
trinkets and, and, and little things at these concession stands, by next week, this shit going to be broken. And then you're going to find out that the hotel that you've been staying at, instead of going to your destination, that they've been running your credit card several times when you look at your statement and you realize that your card is maxed out, it's because you only stood there, you only stayed there for seven days, but they billed you twice on every day. And now you got to go through a whole bunch of shit just to get the shit taken off of your credit card. And, and, that, and it's like you're stuck there because now you don't have any money or whatever. And these people are like, oh, you could work for me. They want to trap you. They ain't never seen nobody like you. They, they, you're nothing like this environment. You don't belong in this environment. You're meant to go to your destination. So I'm telling you right now, Scorpio, whatever it is, it's going to seem like something now. But a month later, you're going to be less enthusiastic about it. And you're going to be like, I wish I would have kept going where the fuck I was going. Even if your navigation system goes out, you don't need that technology to know where you're going. Trust your instinct. And some say, I don't feel like I should be still going straight. Bitch, make that left. Make that left. Because it's giving me one of them creepy vibes where a motherfucker is driving into a, one of them freaky Y'all know the movies where people be driving to them freaky neighborhoods that it's like a dead zone. They don't get no cell phone, um, uh, tower signals and shit. And you in this kooky ass town and come to find out they be kidnapping niggas and doing weird shit. Like I'm trying to tell you, bruh. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why I'm getting that, bruh. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just thought it's like someone's trying to harvest your energy. And then look, the nothingness. I split the deck and it's the nothingness. This is the Hierophant. This is the Hierophant. This is the Hierophant. And then you got the new vision. So I split the deck and then Scorpio, you got two major arcanas. Okay. And then you got, and then you got the five of pentacles and then the three of cups. So these are people that have been kicked out that went back in, in some form, shape, or fashion. Y'all, these cards are doing too. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all trying to pull me down the fucking rabbit hole. Y'all trying to pull me down the fucking rabbit hole because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck is going on here. But what does this basically telling me? Like, you. Oh. Yo, oh my God, and just get deeper and deeper and deeper. Oh my God. Okay, so basically, there was something that was exposed that made you move away. It was something that was exposed or something that came out. That's the moon in reverse, and that's the six of swords. Okay, so you've completely mentally released and let go of feeling any type of burden. Like you don't want to be burdened. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you got the five of wands. And then you got the ten of wands in the reverse. So I'm not going to compete. I'm not going to explain myself. Because I feel like I've had to explain myself several times. For a group of motherfuckers that are determined to not understand me. And ain't shit going to grow here. I don't want to deal with conflict. And again, I don't like repeating my fucking self. And the main reason why the motherfuckers are acting like they don't understand what I'm saying or what I'm trying to do here is because you want to be me, bitch. And I don't compete what I don't compare to. So how about I just alleviate myself from the whole motherfucking situation? Period. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like it's like something is being you 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 see something for what it is. And these people are like, where did Scorpio go? Scorpio went that way. You, your friend, your rooster, can't none of y'all motherfuckers follow me. So you can look if you want to, bitch. Catch me, catch you. Catch me, catch me if you can, bitch. I'm the gingerbread man. Bitch, I'm the gingerbread man. Bitch. There will be no more cycles. There will be no more repeats of a motherfucking thing, bitch. Intuition said, that's dead weight. Drop them. Okay, and that's exactly what the motherfuck Scorpio did. That is exactly what... So that exactly what Scorpio did. Scorpio is not enthused. It's like Scorpio, I want to say, has faced this challenge before. 
and knows better than to what is this saying the gathering of together the for what i'm not enthused i'm not impressed i don't need your help you're dead weight because if i was to put you if i was to take you with me because again these are this these these are people that want to go for the ride no my conscience said no you know so did you, you see these are people that need help and need to feel a part of something and that a part of something is whatever the fuck it is that you got going on you understand and with this hierophant right here they come from a vast land of nothingness every single thing that is at that gate is nothing it's cheap clothing is no value you know what I'm saying? It has no standard. It's purposeless. After a week or a month's time, it's going to deteriorate and break. And it was money wasted. Money wasted. They need something to fill this box up. They need something to fill this box up. Hmm. Let me make sure I'm not motherfucking tripping. I know I ain't got it, bitch. I know my goddamn. I know. I know my shit. Yeah, the motherfucking hierophant. The goddamn hierophant. And God is telling nothing. Give them nothing. Nothing. There's no safe passage. There's no safe passage. Keep going. There's something that is being blocked here. And these these videos are only supposed to be a few minutes. I'm sorry, Scorpio, because I'm like really going extra for y'all. Because I'm trying to figure out like what the fuck is this going on right here? Like I and then of course I went down and then I'm a Scorpio, so I can do what the fuck I want to do on my page. Hello, hello. But still, like at the end of the day, carefully made plans could be thrown out of the window as major challenges or interruptions interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope. With all the upheaval. So with certain people that you thought might have been going with you. Because typically with the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords. It's like someone receiving help to get to a safe destination. They're being removed from some type of conflict. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the Six of Swords is coming after the Five of Swords. So the five of swords is when they feel like they've been betrayed, betrayed, backstabbed, that they've been doing work with the enemy. They've been victimized, attacked, um, set up. You see what I'm saying? So. It's like, it's like somebody wants you to carry them on your back to help them get out of something. Because they see where you're going. And they're not meant to go with you. They're not meant to go with you. And. The challenge for you Scorpio. Might be for you to figure out where the fuck. They let their ass off. Because the more and more. You carry that burden. The more and more it's going to. Weigh you down. And then. For this challenge card to have the number 13. And you know the number 13 in tarot represents the death card. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Lead their ass right at that gate. Where they belong. That's where they belong. And you keep fucking going. Because that's why I'm like, I'm like, why, why is God telling me this is the garden of the gate energy? The garden of the gate energy in the energy deck. This is the deck that I'm talking about, y'all. If y'all have this deck, if y'all know what I'm talking about. If y'all know what I'm talking about. And I, let me. Oh, I really don't mean to make this video that fucking long. I mean, this, this. I really don't. But it's just like, y'all gotta understand what I'm saying. Because I'm like, why is God telling me this? Hold on. Come on, come on, y'all. 96. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to read it. It says, 
It means abundance, prosper prosperity, and staying safe. There are people that are trying to attach their self because they need help, bruh. And these are not good people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not good people. It's, oh. It says in the upright, this card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautiful blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside of the garden is locked. While the, gar while the girl wears the key on a chain around her neck, this car upright um, bodes well for a financial scene. In fact, there may be lots of money or personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choice to stay in the seeming security of the loving garden may actually be motivated by habit or fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it is fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have a choice to shift your focus to widen your spiritual perspective and to gain the world that is just outside of your gate. Do you understand why I was saying? Like they said, it's meant for you to bask in the luxuries and the joys of the flowers, but it's not meant for you to, you, you're the only one that has access to what's on the other side of that gate. Everybody else on the outside of that gate, they don't have that key. They were not meant. You do not pass go. You do not collect $200. They cannot attach themselves to you. And the more and more you spend wasted time around these people, the more and more you realize all of this shit, even if it was name brand clothes, this shit's stolen. It's something about it that's not right. Remember, the five of swords is before the six of swords. And it's people that need help out of their situation. Because what does this say? You have abundance and prosperity written all over you, baby. In the reverse. This card reverse indicates the happy choice to open the door to more spiritual pursuit. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before but your readiness hold on yeah you may have been obsessed with worldly issues before but your readiness to go deeper is now here many people believe that they cannot live in a material world make lots of money and engage in spiritual uh priorities at the same time but now you realize that this isn't true in fact you can bring this world of wonderful spiritual focus hold on it says but now you realize this isn't true in fact you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any endeavor and when you do you find that beyond your garden the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joys expect unexpected for joyous synchronicities abound. This affirmation means I am blessed with an abundantly spiritual life. Every day, in every way, my joyous prosperity grows and grows and grows. And then the next card is the door to value. So, again, y'all don't just, don't get pulled back into the matrix. Don't stop. Don't get infused by the thought of the great gathering. You, you, you like you don't need no. Mm -mm. It says enthusiasm, self-expression, inspiring others, self-confidence, totality, success, sharing, a positive response. It's cool to inspire others and everything like that, but I'm. Trust me. Y'all just trust me. For those that this makes sense, please put, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this down in the comments because it is like just screaming to me. 
confirmation. Like these motherfuckers going to stop you. They going to stop you. And they going to cause unnecessary twists and turns in your voyage. Pay attention, Scorpio. I love y'all. Hit that like button. Y'all let me know. Chat. Be vocal with each other. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comments. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.